Good girl. It's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I feel good. I've got the umbrella concession for the Super Bowl. I think I'll make a fortune there. As we tape this show, it is uh, Super Bowl Sunday. I thank all the audience for giving up America's favorite sport and our celebrities. They are here for this week to actually play for charity, win a whole lot of money, $10,000. These people, as you can see, they've been honored by Hollywood all over the world. What do they have? They have uh, stars for recording, acting, motion pictures, radio, television, and theater. When they get to sulking, maybe I'll get one. <laughs> Should have a good time. Help me welcome them, please. Beautiful. The ladies of the Walk of Fame. <laughs> this is so neat. I need to see you. Oh, hey, boy. Thank you. Thank you. See my dollars, sweet Betty? Just finishing your book, Pet Love. Thank you. It, we just got a paperback deal. We're just going to start all over again. Darn it. I bought the... Uh, Hardcover. Hard you yeah. get a refund. Thank you. Let you, me meet all of these darlings. Yes, on my left. Uh, it's funny. They've all got gray hair, and none of us has. I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Arlene Dahl. Uh, I'm sorry. You were saying Arlene Dahl, whose star is, of course, for motion pictures, but her latest book is out: Love Scopes, Not Scopes, love Beauty scopes. and Astrology, and Love. And the, she say best for last. And Gloria <laughs> De Haven, who is uh, her star is for motion pictures, but for the last two years we've seen her on Ryan's Hope. They haven't wised up to her yet. She's gorgeous. <laughs> and that beautiful lady, of course, is Audrey Meadows, whose star is for television. And for four years she's been playing Ted Knight's mother-in-law on Too Close for Comfort. He's a lucky man. And then we have our star dropper, Dorothy Lamour, down at the other end, who has a star for motion pictures and for radio. How do you like them, Good Aaron? Good a big welcome. Beautiful. Yours for TV. Yours for television or whatever. <laughs> well, your star is for television. I guess so. Yeah, I, I think it's. I was a pioneer. Alan Ludden used to say that I was a, a pioneer in silent television. <laughs> What chair? What chair? Don't do this to me. <laughs> what charity will you be playing for? A uh, very fine one. The Pearl S. Buck Foundation. They're, they help Amer Asian children, and two of the board members are on the panel. The two redheads. They only allow redheads uh, on the board. <laughs> oh, I'll open it to anybody. All I'm right. Sure, well, it's a, wonderful Got a whole lot of money to play, you know. Yes, and it's a wonderful. You can win fifty thousand dollars for that charity if you shut these guys out. Let's do it. Of course. Don't do it. One of them's my boss. Oh, thank you. I love you. I love you. Thank oh, you for being here with us. And thank you. Look you. Thank gorgeous. Thank you. Gloria's been thank here before. You. Thank you. If I do it right, she'll sing to me. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. You are thank beautiful. You. I'd like to be on that board with you sometime. We'd love to have you. The lady who did more for sarongs than John Hall. <laughs> Give them all a big welcome, and I love them. Thank you, man. Here are the gentlemen of the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Mr. Mark Butcher. Here we go, Chance. Nice to see you. I was at the opening, or the actual laying of your star, if you recall. Yes, my star was put away. And uh, we were very proud that day. But I'm even more proud, that, truly, that you came out here. The, this gentleman created this show. And uh, you know that he could be the laughing stock of the world if he didn't play it well. <laughs> and I asked for him to come on, and he didn't. I, I, I want to ask that. one question. Why is nature so... Thank you. Truly, I think it's a classy yeah, man. That's very nice. Yeah, why is nature unkind to us? Now, first of all, they got the flowers, and we have the gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> Just God's way of saying he likes women better. That's true. <laughs> or she likes women better. <laughs> Let me meet these gentlemen, if I may. All right, to my right, a very distinguished writer, Rod McEwen, who has his star for recording and a great new book called Suspension Bridge. Right. Next to him, this handsome fellow is Cesar Romero, who has a double star, a star for motion pictures and for television. He has a new TV series called Behringers and a new film, Lust in the Dust. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, uh, Next to him is Rory Calhoun, who has stars, again, a double for television and motion pictures. He's uh, starring now in Capital, and he has a new film called Avenging Angels. It's a big group of stars. All working. Done at the, uh, uh, at the Anchorman is Keenan Wynn, 
who has a star for television. He's starring in the hit new TV series, Call to Glory. That's our group. <laughs> Good morning, big welcome. Thank you for being here, Danny. What charity, Mark, will you be playing for? The charity that the gentleman from the Hollywood Walk of Fame will be playing for? Well, there are the many wonderful charities. We agreed on World Vision for Ethiopian Relief. I wish you lots and lots of luck to you. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I mentioned it in one of our shows. A very nice lady sent me Suspension Bridge, and I read a poem uh, on the air. I hope you like it when you see it. I thank you. <laughs> How are you, champ? I'm just fine. Long time. He's got a secret. I mean, take a look. This man's never aged. <laughs> never. Dick, Dick Clark is a piper uh, compared to you. How are you, Jeff? I'm fine. I'm, uh, we're the lollipops. Exactly. We'll find some, Rory. <laughs> this man has gunned down more men than I can remember. His first words, where are the lollipops? <laughs> There's a, this gentleman has done a million things. He's also in Call the Glory, a brand new series. He did a movie once called Man in the Middle oh, you with remember, Robert you Mitchum, remember. and he played a gentleman who was deranged and crazy. <laughs> if ever, I don't know who got the acting award that year, you were robbed. Well, thank I you. wish you luck, and I'm thank proud you. to be here. Let's play the few. Come on, Mark. Oh, hurry, Kenny. All righty. Now, normally we play to 400 points. When we have a special week, we play to 300. $10,000 can be won, and I wish you both lots of luck. 100 people surveyed, top five answers on the board. Got to try and get the most popular answer. Here is the question. What U.S. state do you think has the most beautiful women? Yes, sir. California. California. <laughs> Fire pack. <laughs> Please stay until I come. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> what state do you think has the most beautiful women, Ron? Huh? Well, let's see, New York. How about that? New York, the Big Apple. You got it. I thought it would be number two. Excuse me. Texas. Aha, Texas. Yeah. Those yellow roses. Rory. Oregon. All righty. <laughs> Oregon. You don't like it? No. Ah, Why'd you take Texas? <laughs> that was what I was going What to. U.S. state do you think has the most beautiful women, Keenan? Florida. Florida. You got it. <laughs> you gentlemen are playing well here. We got one more to go here. Yes, huh? ma'am. Only one strike. Hmm. California, Texas, New York, and Florida. Well, I'll take a wild shot at... Uh, Louisiana, I don't know okay. why. Louisiana? <laughs> no. Hey, beautiful woman down there. Well, I'll take a wilder shot. Yeah. North Carolina. Okay. <laughs> North Carolina's there, you got it. If not, ladies, get ready to steal. North Carolina. <laughs> not there. Here we go. We can take a lead right now. Anything else? What U.S. Again? state do you think has the most beautiful <laughs> women? Talk it over and then give me an answer. We were going to say Rhode Island, and then we ruled that out. Yeah, yeah, but we, but the, they think the showgirls in Nevada might be uh, good. Yeah. Showgirls in Nevada. If Nevada's there, you get the money, and if not, the gentleman will. Nevada? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Mark now, of course, after he got three strikes said, my favorite state, Hawaii. Oh! But we'll take a look. It occurred to me very late. Well, I obviously, <laughs> because the game was... <laughs> Number three, please! Hawaii! 84 to nothing, let's go! Come on, Rod! Come on, my darling. Arlene! Wish each other luck. <laughs> All right. 100 people surveyed, top seven answers on the board. Here is the question. Name a childhood fear that is carried into adulthood. Dark. Yes. Shyness. Shyness. <laughs> no. Dark. Okay. Fear of the dark. Very hey. good. Hey. Play a pass. We're going to play, Richard. Oh, thank you. They're going to play. <laughs> okay. I'm not eager. No. <laughs> They're going to play, so you'll go back out. Fear of the dark. Very good. Childhood fear that is carried into adulthood, Caesar. Fear of your father. Aha. Uh -huh. mm, fear of your dad. <laughs> no. Rory. 
Now, how about uh, wetting the bed? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Fear of bed wetting. <laughs> no. <laughs> Keenan. Childhood fear that's carried into adulthood. Being closed in a room. Ah. Claustro, right? Fear of claustrophobia. You got it. But keep it going right now. What do you think, Mark? I would say fear of falling. Okay. Fear of falling? Yeah. Well done. Fear of fire. Fear of fire. fire. Okay. Fear of fire. Not there. Seventy-two dollars. Look at this, Donalds. Come along. I'm sorry oh my to gosh. interrupt the meditating time, but we've got four unrevealed answers, so you've got a good chance to get it. Childhood fear that's carried into adulthood. Now, fire has been taken. Fear of animals. Fear of animals or snakes. Snakes. Fear of snakes. Okay. <laughs> Hisphobia, we call it. Or <laughs> 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 fear of snakes. There, you get it. If not, gentlemen, get a lead. Fear of snakes. Sensation. Really good. Three. Fear of thunderstorms. Four. Fear of dying. Yeah, that can kill you. Seven. Fear of dogs. Or fear of blind dates is the technical thing. We'll be back right after this. The gentleman, 84, the lady, 72. Gloria, let's go. Come on, two out. Wish each other luck. 100 people surveyed, top six answers on the board. Here is the question. Name a household tool that your father used at his workbench. Yes. A hammer. Hammer. Oh, Player pass. Hey, hey, hey. Play? Hey, yes. You've not done a good job here, Mark. You've got to tell your boys to hang around. By the way, Caesar's dad is Trini Lopez. <laughs> Household tool that your father used at his workbench. Screwdriver. A screwdriver. Yeah. What tool do you think? A is? saw. A saw. Yeah. Well, I was a carpenter. Household tool your father used at his workbench. Uh, monkey wrench? I see. A monkey wrench. You got it. How about a, a plane? A plane. 
No. Mm. I thought it was a goodie. Not there. First strike, Caesar. An axe. Aha. Uh -huh. An axe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did medicine on his spare time, uh, household. <laughs> Your father used it as workbench. Well, well, how about um, a file? A file? All right. Is there a file? <laughs> there is not. Ladies. Two unrevealed answers. Come along. That's it. That's it. We got pliers. We got soldering iron. We got pliers. We got pliers. 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 Pliers gets you the money, and if not, the gentleman will get it. Pliers. Yeah. Number four. A knife. One sixty to eighty-four. Let's go. Come on. Dollar values are doubled, 100 people surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Here's the question. Name a food people often send each other through the mail. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 <laughs> Don't say it. Candy. Candy. Is that a food? Yeah. Play or pass? Yes. Okay. okay, we are going to play. By the end of that line is what's up, Doc? What's Thank up? you. <laughs> dab, 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 dab. What's up, Doc? Oh. It's a food that people often send each other through the mail. Cookies. Cookies! You are good. <laughs> Betty, look at what Dorothy gave us some cookies. The number one answer. What food would you think? Cake. Let them eat cake. Yeah. This is the first time you've had control of the question. You're doing it. A fruit basket. Ah, a fruit basket! One more, you'll play for $10,000. Oh, God, a uh, cheese. Boy, oh, boy. For the right to play for the money, cheese. <laughs> Is that a win? <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> we saw 800 inflation is rampant today. <laughs> they have one, three, they've got three. 358, so you do have a win. We had to deduct some for some expenses. <laughs> All these blocks. Gentlemen, will you stay in route, Mom? Sure. Come on now, because they'll do the same for you. Two people, who'll play? Let's go, who's first? All right. They're doing it alphabetically, playing for the money right after we watch this. You did it. Well done. Bundle up. Buzzer's Betty White Christmas will be right back.
$10,000. Good luck. Mm, thank you. 15 seconds, please. Tell me how many times per year people go to the doctor. Three. A part of the body you have two of. I beg your pardon? <laughs> Can you say a it on television? A part of the body you have two of. I'll say arms. A chest piece. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Quick, look quickly. Uh, a chest, chest piece chest. king. Pardon? King. King. Color of shoelaces. Black. A kind of album. M music, recording. Okay, turn it on. Now, I obviously, you know, Arlene, I want you to win a lot of money. Should we meet here again, we mustn't do a lot of... Yes, I know. I'm you sorry. You mustn't do it. This is my one. first time. Well, exactly. You've got to Was it good for you? Of... Excuse oh, me. Yes. Tell me how Please. many times per year people go to the doctor. Arlene said three. Survey said ten. Part of the body you have two of. You said arm. Survey said there you go. Chest piece. You said the king. Survey said 25. Oh. Color of shoelaces. Noir. Black. Survey. There you go. Kind of an album, a record album, music, survey said. That's Yay! a great thing. Yeah! Here she comes, my favorite lady, Miss Betty White. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And they said she was just another pretty face. Exactly. Huh? 50 points and you get $10,000, please remind everyone. The great answers Arlene gave us, 20 seconds on the clock, please. Tell me how many times per year people go to the doctor. Twice. A part of the body you have two of. <laughs> Legs. A chess piece. A uh, king. Try again. A queen. A color of shoelaces. Black. Try again. White. A kind of album. A uh, record. Try again. Photo. Turn it around. <laughs> Good great. Double play. Let's go. And their congratulations for resisting the obvious. <laughs> How many times per year people go to the doctor? Twice, said Betty. We need 50 points. Survey said? 30 oh, yeah. Number one answer, twice. Really? Yeah. Part of the body you have two of. Eyes were number one. You said legs. We need 14 points for $10,000. Survey said? We will return. Four. 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 Say it again. Four. 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 Four.
Gentlemen, celebrities of the Hollywood Walk of Fame playing for World Vision Ethiopian Relief Fund. So far, only $84, but we have four more nights at $10,000 a night. It's early, as they say. The ladies of the Hollywood Walk of Fame playing with Pearl S. Buck Foundation for Amerasian Children. Done quite well. $10,358. We love you. We'll see you here on the tube. Bye-bye. A promotional fee has been paid or prizes furnished by Artmatic Cosmetics for lips, nails, eyes, and cheeks that look like a million without costing a fortune. Artmatic, the art of beauty made affordable. A gift certificate for a Jules Jurgensen elegantly styled lady sports analog watch with six diamonds and mesh bracelet or a gents quartz analog day date with matching bracelet. Furnished by Jules Jurgensen. Genuine Z-Brick, add richness and character to your exterior interior walls with decorative Z-Brick. Ask for the authentic Z-Brick brand, your assurance of quality and durability. Mazzola has a new taste that's fresh, light, and is still cholesterol-free. So discover the untoppable new taste of Mazzola. Noodle Roni Parmigiano, a bit of old Italy, now in seven flavors, including chicken and light lasagna from the rice -Roni flavor family. Enjoy delicious all-natural sous vide honey at the table, not on it. Squeeze on the sweetness with sous vide honey in the no-drip table server. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. Mark Goodson, television production. Behind these numbers is a puzzle. Can you solve it? P plus rope. P rope. Sand plus witch. Sand witch. Hero sandwich. If you can do that, you could win one of these eight fabulous cars as we play classic concentration. And here's the host of Concentration, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Gene. Good morning, everyone, and welcome again to our show. I hope you enjoy